All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to go by our praises to Yahweh. Yahweh. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Kakadash. That were honored to the elders and apostles of Great Mills. Someone taught this truth to rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations. Set an icon out there. Scattered broad to the four corners of the earth. That serving the truth and not true sincerity. To you, I say Shalom. Shalom. This is your brother Nabala. And I'm your sir. And we come to you in a video in the spirit. And uh, basically, we're going to go into um about the little Kyrie uh, situation, and I just give you a little uh, backdrop on it. Well, in the beginning, you know, Kyrie, I posted a little documentary, I guess, that was on Amazon. It was called uh, Hebrews to Negroes, mm -hmm. okay? By Ronald Dalton. Uh, by Ronald Dalton, and he just came out of nowhere. You know, you know Jake. As soon as Jake get a little shine, you know, they try to, they 15, with the seconds, 15, 15 minutes, minutes 15 fame. minutes of fame, you know, they trying to run up, but you see that nigga came and went, we ain't hearing from his ass from no, but anyway, back on the story, he promoted that, uh, that documentary, and, uh, basically, you know, he was, you know, talking about it, you know, and so he had got suspended, you know, for a period of time, and then supposedly they had put certain stipulations on him that he had to, certain things he had to, uh, do before he was able to come back and play. And then, you know, I guess after a certain amount of people started speaking out about how they felt like it was harsh, you know, they lifted some of them, and they was, he was able to come back and play. So he, I think he played this last Sunday, okay? So when he played after the game, just to give you some more uh, backdrop on it, uh, IUIC was out there, you know, marching and chanting and, and so on and so on. So after the game, during the press conference, they basically asked him, you know, uh, this group, uh, IUIC, was out there, you know, how do you think about that or what do you feel, anything like that? And he basically said he didn't know nothing about that. He just wanted to talk about the game. You know, and they asked him that question twice. And he basically, you know, shut the question down both times. And that just showing you how basically he got the message, which is what? All, all he wants you to do is shut up and dribble. You know, they don't want Jake in, in the sports business or any type of entertainment business at all speaking about that and once you try to do you can see what happened with Kanye West they're going to cancel you okay and that just shows you how I'm going to grab the scripture but I'm going to speak on it real quick it just shows you how uh, these people who have wealth these uh, these people who you consider rich in this society will not enter into the kingdom of heaven because what they're not willing to let go of their riches now they're not willing to forsake everything they have to come serve the Lord whose name is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai okay if I may add a point real quick, um, because in the in his first interview, when he when he first posted the uh, the link to that documentary on his Twitter, or yeah, I think it was Twitter. Um, they they interviewed him about the first tweet, you know, uh, about him having a platform and promoting this certain uh, information, and and at first he was kind of. Uh, you know, he was standing his ground. He was like, well, first of all, you know, I'm not promoting anything. I just posted the link, yada, yada, yada. And then they were saying that um, he was being anti-Sim, right? When we know anti, uh, there is no such thing as anti-Semitism, right? It's Shem. Shem is, is, is the true name of, of the man who was born by Noah, you see, because Noah had three sons, Ham, Shem, and Japheth. You see, so if anything, it would be anti-Shemitic. And he said, oh, "What well, I can't be anti-Shemitic because I am Shemitic. You see, so at first he was standing his ground. He was saying, you know what, uh, you know, I know who I am. I know who I am, basically, right? He was he was being rebellious to, to the whole idea of being a so-called Negro, right? Now, after they suspended his ass and they told him, well, look, you ain't going to be able to play for the Nets no more uh, unless you apologize, you see? It took him a while, but he finally he finally broke. They gave him uh, six conditions you needed to, um, you know, in, in, in order to come back and play for the Nets. You need to pay uh, half a million dollars, apologize to the damn uh, uh, you wish people, you know, you wish he was us. Uh, he had to uh, sit with some some damn uh, the rabbi, the rabbi, and. And uh, uh, learn how to speak. You know, it was a whole bunch of folly and bullshit. But ultimately, I'm pretty sure he did all those things, and, and now he's back playing with the Nets. And, and then the second interview that he had, uh, uh, now all of a sudden he only wants to focus on the game. You see, so what? They 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 uh, publicly 
butt broken in mm-hmm. <laughs> broke yeah. butt broken this man. And as uh, Apostle, uh elder apostle to Harlight he like to he calls it uh butt broken. <laughs> you know, they, they verbally and, and uh, uh uh butt broke him through the media, you see. So now Ky- Kyrie is 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 uh, a good old Toby for the NBA. Mm-hmm. You got it. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to grab the scripture. This is uh, Matthew 19 and uh, 23. It says, Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again I say unto you, It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. And Yahweh Shai used that parable basically because if you, if you know anything about a camel, a camel is a very prideful type of animal. You know, it's not gonna, it's it's not gonna bend down or hunch over because that um that that eye of a needle is is in comparison to a, to a door or or to a gateway. So it's not going to um, it's not lower. Itself. It's not gonna lower itself to enter in, into uh a, a, into into that. Okay, mm-hmm. but it's showing you right here that it's it says it's easier for a camp to go through an eye of a needle than a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven because a rich man is not gonna what? He's not gonna want to let go of his riches. Okay, he's not going to want to forsake everything that he's worked so hard for just to what? To come serve the Lord, which is, this is how you want to receive salvation. This is, this is what's going to grant you that eternal life. This is, going to, this is going to grant you what true living is, okay? We're not truly living on this side, okay? We're just basically maintaining. But these people who have wealth, these people who who's living a good living, they can't see that. They think that. The life that they have now is it. They think they have made it. You know, they think that they're so-called saved from the system, which they're not. And then you can see that with Kyrie. How are you saved from the system? Because you can't exercise uh, a right that Esau gave to you, which is what? Freedom of speech. You can't even exercise that. Because once you start saying a little bit too much, what? They got to shut your ass down. Can I make a, Go uh, ahead, two brother. quick points real uh-huh. quick uh, off of what you just said? Uh, there was a video Kanye West spoke about that. Uh, basically, his his Apple Pay was uh, canceled by Adidas, so he couldn't use his Apple Pay because, you know, of, of him speaking out on on the the, the Jewish people, you know, and um, you know the the industry and how you know they control everything. So basically, what he said is he didn't do anything wrong. He didn't kill nobody. He didn't, you know, what I'm saying he didn't uh, 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 rob a bank. Etc. All he did was was speak an idea that was contrary to what they want you to believe in, and ultimately, what? Now he's canceled, man. He went from a multi-billionaire to a, a regular nigga on the streets. You see? Now he he still probably got some money, but he ain't got nearly uh, uh, close to the amount of money that he had before he started to speak out uh, uh, on the Jewish people. Man. Uh-huh. You know, and uh, we're going back to the. Matthew 19 with the, the, the camel, when you, when you look up the Hebrew word for camel is gamal, right? And gamal means lift it up. You see, so uh, a camel naturally is powerful, man, you know? So so when, when, when you look at the, the people of our, our nation and, and how they obtain these riches in this world, you know, they have a certain pride about them. Mm-hmm. And if they if they uh, uh, come to a point where they 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 need to be humbled. Esau is gonna humble their ass, Down. you know, and and and, and they'll take their fucking money away from them. You see, but but they know. Okay, well, if I as long as I'm on Esau's good side, I can keep my money, and they can keep being uh, uh you know living that same lifestyle that they've been living. But ultimately, the Lord gonna destroy this place, man. Your damn money not gonna mean shit. Exactly. You got it. Um, I'm gonna grab this other scripture. Oh Lord. Mm-hmm. So I like it. So I like it. I don't know why she wanted to read. But um it is second Ezra is uh nine and ten. It says for such as in their life have received benefits. Uh where you wanna start? Like one or one or two verses. Uh second Ezra is nine and nine, it says, Then shall they be in a pitiful case which now have abused my ways, mm-hmm. and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Right. Despite what? And, and the law of the commandments. 
You know, it says that they that despise my ways, the ways of the Lord is, is, is uh, a righteousness. You see, we keep the law, such commandments to the best of our ability. Uh, we not, we don't cast it away. You know, well, you know, we're in captivity, so we can't, we can't keep the law. Might as well eat some bacon. No, we know we can't eat that shit, man. Yeah. So, so we do our best to stray away from that shit as, as, as best as possible. You know? Can you read that again? Uh, Second Andrews nine and nine. It says, "Then shall they be in a pitiful case, mm -hmm. which now have abused my ways." They're gonna be in a pitiful case, man. All you niggas that's living in high esteem, all you niggas that 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 feel like, oh, you know, I got it, nigga. I don't, I don't need to, I don't need to listen to you. You're gonna be in a pitiful case. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And they and they that have cast them away despitefully mm -hmm. shall dwell in torment. They're gonna d dwell in torment. You see, right? For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. They have received benefits and have not known the Heavenly Father. All you so-called celebrities that's living, uh, Beyonce, Jay-Z, mm -hmm. uh, uh, all these different rappers and singers, you know, that, that made a covenant with the devil, who who have received those benefits, even even uh, people who, who got their own businesses, right? The Lord allows you to prosper with your own business. You might not you not might you might not be uh super completely entangled with Esau ass, with contracts, etc. But you got your own little whatever. It says that, that you receive benefits, but what? They have not known me. They have not known the Heavenly Father. No. You don't know the Lord, man. The Lord allowed you to prosper uh, the scriptures say that he make it poor and he make it the uh, the rich. Uh -huh. He bring it uh low and, and, and lift it up. So if the Heavenly Father has you in a position where you have a certain certain type of fun, uh, you know, you got you got a little bit of money on you, the Heavenly Father did that for you, man. And if you're as poor as fuck, then the Heavenly Father did that too. But ultimately, hey, fear the Lord. Uh -huh. so, you got Jake out here, you know, that when they get blessed with these riches, they want to, what they want to say? Oh, this is God's doing God did this thank, and that. Thank God. Yeah, thank God. Then you then you got um, you know, Kyrie and Kanye, who's out here saying, you know, that they know who they are and this, that, and the third, which, which the scriptures say, you know, Jake has a zeal, but not according to knowledge. So they don't, they don't truly understand. You know, you got Kyrie talking about Yahweh, which that's not the Heavenly Father's true name. His name is Yahweh, okay, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, okay. So they don't, they don't truly know. They don't truly understand, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, you want to grab your piece, brother? Yeah, I can grab it if you want. This is uh. <clears throat> Luke chapter 6 and verse 24 it says but woe unto you that are rich for you have received your consolation see so it says woe unto you that are rich for you have received your consolation all you you Israelites that have received uh, you know millions of dollars and, and because you can't say, oh, well, you know, I got $10,000 and you rich. You're not rich. Hell no. You're not rich. That $10,000 can blow away as fast as the wind. It will blow away as you fast know? as the wind. For all you men out there and you women out there who got uh, a few million dollars uh, up into the 20s, the 30s, how, how much ever, you know, hey, you received your consolation uh -huh. on this side, man. On this side. So okay. when, 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 when all hell breaks loose and you lose that money, Hey, you got no excuse. Oh, well, I ain't no, oh, you know, that ain't fair. How is it not fair? You was living it up. And living it up. The scriptures say that they eat and drink and be merry until the flood came. It's the same thing that's happening before the flood came uh, in the time of Noah. Mm -hmm. Y'all niggas living it up. But we're telling you to, to, to not live like that, bro. No. We're telling you to repent. We're telling you to come back to the Heavenly Father. But you don't care, man. All you care about is that money, man. That money. That's why, and Kent, we brought it up. The love of money is the root of all evil, man. Uh, uh. You know? That was it. Yeah. So, yeah, the brother, the brother to say a lot of important things. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm going to grab this. This is uh, Proverbs 11 and 4. Because, <laughs> like you say, all they care about is their money. But what did the scripture say? It's Proverbs 11 and 4. It says, Riches profit not in a day of wrath. But righteousness delivered from death, kind. So all this money that they glorify, all this money that they put their trust in is is not gonna 
have non effect in the day of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, okay? When when all hell start breaking loose, you think that money's gonna save them? You think people gonna regard about the status that they have in this place mm -hmm. or the money that they have? People not gonna give a fuck about that shit. Mm -hmm. They gonna come and grab that shit. And they're not coming to grab money, they come to grab goods. Mm -hmm. And if and if you a woman with status, oh shit. Mm -hmm. They gonna give a fuck about them. They gonna grab them goods. Mm -hmm. Good if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> they gonna grab them goods. That's what they good. coming for. <laughs> So all that money that you have is not going to, nothing. The magic that, people going to use that as a drug place for a short moment. Y'all been living in those places for years. And people going to use them places as dwelling for short moments and just go on to the next. So basically everything that you have done, all that hard work you done put in is basically been in vain, okay? It, it's, it's been for nothing. Like the brother said, you receive your constellation on this side, Okay. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna die on this side. You're gonna be brought back in the kingdom with your right mind, but you're gonna, your, 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 your death on this side is gonna be, is gonna be horrible. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be hard for um, a person of substance to, to come into this truth, man. Because when you come into this truth, Yahweh Shai said, "Let me grab that real." Yeah, fast. yeah, yeah, kind of. Real fast. You know what I'm saying? You have to forsake everything, man, when you come into this place. Kind of. You know this place of, uh, of, of solemn assembly. You know, this is uh, Matthew chapter 19, verse 27. Then P then asked Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all. See, so the disciples that was following Yahweh, they forsook all the things that they had, man. Mm -hmm. It says, and we and followed thee. So that's two things. That's not one thing. You know, oh, well, I'm just following the Lord, you know, the best. No, they forsook all and followed him. What shall we, uh, what shall we have therefore? You see, so he's asking, what are we going to receive for, you know, forsaking everything and following you? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit on the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. You see, so that's going to be the reward to those disciples that forsook all and follow Yahweh Verse 29. Verse 29, it says, And everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or, or mother, or wife, for all you men out there, oh, my baby, my, my love, my baby, you, hey, even your wife, man, your mother, your father. It says, Or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold, God. and shall inherit everlasting life. Now, that doesn't mean you walk into your household, fuck you, mom, and fuck Yo, fuck, them, fuck them kids and blah. No. But that, that means when all hell gets to breaking loose, you know, okay, well, I got to put the Lord first. You know what I'm saying? If you put the Lord first, he going he gonna to make sure you and your family is situated. Uh -huh. That means when, 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 when it's time to make a video, you're not choosing uh, uh, to be with your woman and cut I'm going to cut up with my baby and fuck making a video right now. You know what I'm saying? Now, that doesn't mean, you know, it's balanced to everything. The scriptures say that he has a wife because he had none. Uh -huh. You know? So uh, as a man of the Lord, as as a, uh, a follower of Yahweh Shai, you have to make sure that, that whatever is in this world is not tying you down, man. Uh -huh. You can say that he that uh, he that worth will not entangle himself with, with the things of this world, man. You know, uh, paraphrasing. You go. John, so like the brother saying, like, when uh, another rough, rough paraphrase, another scripture says, um, this is, this is rough perfect because I can't think of it right now. Um, those who do not forsake all cannot be my disciple. Okay? okay. So if, if you're not willing to basically forsake anything that's holding you to this place to come serve the Lord, then you cannot be a disciple of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shaz. And that's a lot of these, basically a lot of these people who have the world. So like, like, um, when we was at camp, a scripture that came out early, earlier, you can't serve two masters in this place. Okay, you can't try to serve Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and still be a part of this place. Okay, you have to choose one. That, and that, and the scriptures talk about that. The the, uh, the Lord would rather you be hot or cold. He don't want you I being. He don't. You. Yeah, he don't want you being lukewarm. You can grab that too, brother. Um, it's uh, basically it's the same, but it's a different book. This is Luke chapter fourteen, verse twenty six. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yeah, in his own life also cannot be my disciple. And whoso doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be cannot be my disciple. God. 
got it. Yeah, so like like the brothers speak on all of that's just another scripture to to back it up. Okay, you gotta you gotta forsake anything that's holding you to this life and come serve the Lord. And then when you come serve the Lord, you gotta bear your cross. Yahweh Shai buried his cross, we gotta bear his cross too. But if you're not willing to do that, then you cannot be a disciple. That's why mm. I believe early up in that scripture it talks about cunning the cost. Okay, you got you got to be able to, you got to count the cost in this thing, and that's that's nothing that that's nothing that these celebrities are. That in makes it. verse actually. Yeah, kind of, yeah, got it, got it. Okay, um, verse twenty eight. It says, "For which of you intending to build a tower, should it not down first and count at the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it?" Kai, and that's and that's what Kanye and that's what Kyrie did. They they thought they can just <laughs> <laughs> they thought they could just speak on something uh -huh. and say something and, and that was it. No, mm -hmm. before you even start trying to utter a word about this truth, you have to start. You have to sincerely what sit down. What can, what's going to happen to me if if I ended up? Posting this link Con. about this Hebrews Negro. Kyrie didn't think about that shit. No, he, he didn't. Thought he was that man. He yeah, like, well, I'm Kyrie Irving. I can do this shit. And 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 that fire got up under his yeah. ass, and he had to back down. And that's that pride we're talking about. They think since they have status and they have wealth in this place that they can say what they want and post what they want to do what they want. But Esau gonna pitch your ass and check real quick. I still run this shit because what did the scripture say? The hand, the 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 earth was given to the hand of the wicked. So he controls everything that goes on. Mm -hmm. So you can't, you can't, you can't say shit. If you, especially if you, are, if you have, if you're a person that has some type of status, you can't say shit without Esau approval or him gonna get on your ass if it's going against the opposite of what he's pushing. And that's just how it goes in this place. Mm -hmm. So you got anything else, brother? No, that's it. Yeah. So, Lord, when this video is edifying. Uh, we're going to close out by giving our praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaqa, Da'ash, Shalom.